Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, the tea on NPD and relationships. So of course, before we get started, I want to invite you to hit that subscribe button, hit that follow button and come follow me as we discover our destinies. To my new subscribers and new followers, welcome y'all to my tribe and my family at large. Listen, welcome back. Thank you for choosing my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time and listen, if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So of course, I want to mention I am a certified professional life coach. So if you are in need of life coaching services, you can email me at the T on NPD at gmail.com. That is the T on NPD at gmail.com. Also want to draw your attention to the community tab, our community tab here, have some great information in the community tab that Cruise information is there. Also, my life coaching pricing menu is there as well. I've been told um, by a lot of our family members that it's it's uh, limited availability on the mobile devices, but the pricing menu is kind of towards the bottom of uh, the community tab. So you may have to go over to the desktop version to look at the price, uh, my life coaching pricing menu, and also the cruise information as well. Last but not least, certainly our store, y'all. Get your T on MPD merchandise right here on the T by Teespring. So make sure you pick up your merchandise. So let's get to the topic. Let's talk about this thing. How the narcissist ultimately controls their target. You know, how do they ultimately control? You know, we know that in that relationship with the bird, okay, that skunk and everything else I could think of that just resembles that. Yeah. There are a couple of things that are mainstays in the relationship, or I like to call it an addiction ship with this bird. Okay. Now the narcissist during the love bomb stage, they are running several tests on you. Now, these are tests that you really don't have an idea. You don't have an idea that this is happening, okay? So, they are running these different tests on you. You are, you, I mean, and some of them, you may have, and they're, what they're checking to see is your reaction to all of these different things that they're doing, okay? They're, I mean, sometimes, and, and, and the biggest one that they like to do is run a, what they, what I like to call an empathy test, They'll tell you one of the saddest things in the world or something that's really sad that has happened to them or someone else. They want to see what your reaction is going to be. They want to see how sad or how empathetic you're going to be to that particular thing that they told you about. They're going to test you to see what makes you angry. You know, what makes you, you know, what, what basically just, I mean, sends you flying and flipping okay they're gonna test for that all of this they're doing i mean it's a uh, it's a myriad of different methods they use a lot of it is what i call uh interrogation it's intentional interrogation okay so they use different methods to obtain this information from the victim or from the target but ultimately what a narcissist typically uses to control you is pain and manipulation of the pain, okay? And manip manipulation in general. Now, why do I say pain? Because if you think about it, pain is the one thing that can be caused in your body, whether it's in your natural body, whether it's emotional, emotional pain, pain can be paralyzing. Come on here, somebody. Pain can be paralyzing. It can have you, the pain, listen, pain in, the, in your natural body can be so devastating to your organs, it can cause your body to entirely shut down. 
Okay. So when you're, when you're thinking about pain, you think about pain in the natural body. It, I mean, it sends your vitals all off the Richter. I mean, it, it, it just throws everything off in your natural body. It sends your blood pressure through the roof and you cannot even have blood pressure problems. But when you begin to, when you are experiencing pain in your body, let me tell you something. You are going to get somewhere. You are going to have to find some relief because that is something that is going to, I mean, really, pain is not going to leave your body until you get some type of relief. Well, with a narcissist, they know this. So their ultimate thing, their ultimate tool that they use to control you is pain. Now, why do I say that? Well, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Now, through the love bomb stage, okay, through the love bomb stage and all of these tests that are being ran, and, and they are unbeknownst to you. You don't even know that they are running these tests on you. I like to call them crap tests. They like to run crap tests on you. So they are running all of these different tests on you. And you're trying to figure out, and, and you're really not even understanding what's going on. All you know is that every time they come out of their mouth, it's with something you think is like, whoo, this is over the top. I mean, who does that? That's what you're thinking. Like, wow, this is crazy. But you don't understand that what they're doing is testing your reactions to all of these different things. Because what they want to do is in the devalue and discard stage, they want to know where to, uh, where to start applying the pressure and the pain. Okay, because the pain is the, the, the pain is going to govern the amount of pain that they can cause is going to be governed by that pressure and vice versa. So this is how they get down. Okay. So you already know that in your natural body, when you are in pain, you don't want anybody saying anything. Don't do anything. Just get me some pain relief. And I mean, get it fast. Okay. So the narcissist uses this same concept in the devalue and discard. What do they do? They go out and do something real crazy. You find them out with a with, with another bird, another supply. You and, and you can you may not be able to prove it, but you got some pretty good evidence that they're out there going around behind your back. So what do you do? You go and ask questions. You start to say why? What are you doing? And what does the narcissist do? Lie. Manipulate the truth. Then turn around and put it back on you and start blame shifting and projecting onto you. Okay, so now they know that that is something that will cause you pain. They already know that now. Okay, so then they go on to something else. Maybe they go in the bank account, spend up a whole lot of money, reckless with the finances, doing other things that they know are totally irresponsible. And here you go again. You're coming back again. And you're saying, what's going on? Why, I mean, why can't, why can't we buy this? Or we need this or that for the house. There's nothing available for me to go and take. They do not care. They are running these tests to see where this pressure and this pain can be applied. Because they bet in that devalue and the discard, that pressure and pain is coming hard and heavy. Do you understand me? Now, you go and you're looking and you're thinking to yourself, what in the world is happening here? Now, when you when when you think about when you think about all of these different things and you go back in your mind and you start thinking about all of the emotional reactions that you had to the different things that the narcissist was doing. OK, during that devalue and discard is when they become just completely disrespectful. And when I tell you they take their foot and they put it in your chest and apply the pressure, what they start to do is the thing that started happening in the devalue stage with you finding all of these different things on social media where they're out with this person and they're leaving little things around. 
they begin to do those things. And I'm talking about, it's not just one now. You finding two or three different things that you are now questioning. And you are paralyzed with pain and hurt and sadness trying to figure out what is happening here. What is happening? That's exactly what they want. And that's how they want you. Because if they can keep you in that emotional state and they are the only one, bird, skunks, if they are the only one that can give you some pain relief, don't you know that that bird is going to keep their foot in your chest, applying that pressure and that pain because they know now what is going to cause you the most amount of pain. This is what they do. This is how they control you through the pain and manipulation because they are, they put themselves or place themselves in a position in your life to be the only remedy for that pain. And so what happens? You are, you are caught up in this emotional roller coaster, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then they give you a period of a few days where there's nothing happening. Then they start to manipulate you and tell you that it was all in your mind, that there was nothing ever happening from the beginning. This was all your imagination. It, it was an illusion. You are delusional. None of these things happened. This is what they're telling you through this little gold, this, this little love bomb or this little calm period that they've given positive reinforcement, okay? Trauma bond being reinforced like no other, okay? Then they get through that little period and bam, here they go with the pain again. Here they go with the same thing. And I'm talking about now they have gone through the bank account and they have gone out, made purchases that they absolutely did not share, didn't discuss anything. And I mean, it is a facade because they got 20 other things back there on the back burner and on the side piece and the side, whatever you got, whatever they got going on over there, because this is what they do. And so now they're in that bank account and they are tearing your finances up. And here you go racking with pain now in your mind, your heart and your body. Because now you got headaches. You're trying to figure out how in the world could you go and do something like that when I've already told you that that, and, and see, they've already tested you. So they know that them going and being irresponsible with the finances is going to absolutely tear you apart, especially when it comes to your bills being paid and being responsible with the finances. They know that that is a, that they know that that's a hot button for you. And where do they go? They go with their foot in your chest again. And baby, they are applying that pressure. And they are governing that pain through all of the tests that they have run. And they are manipulating all of these different things that they have learned about you in order to control you through that pain. Now, here we go again. The only person that can give you relief from that pain in that situation is you have to go to that narcissist to get the information. To get to gain an understanding as to what's happening here. And then here they go again. Deflection. This is the manipulation part. Deflection. Blame shifting. Telling you that it's all in your mind. This is something that you, they don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. You're delusional. All of these different things. This is how the narcissist controls you through pain. Because see the pain keeps you searching for answers. It keeps you paralyzed in your emotion and you can't think with your logical mind. And the more pressure they apply and the more pain they apply, the more emotional you become. And because you're in so much pain and you're rocking with pain, you can't think with your logical mind. Oh, but it becomes a new day when you get this information and you understand what's going on and the fog starts to lift off of your head and from your eyes 
and you begin to see that pain and manipulation for just what it is and you wake up and you start to sit up and look around like, whoa, what was it? And baby, those of you that have experienced just what I'm talking about and you come up out of that thing when you would listen. When you talk about the narcissist keeping their foot in your chest, baby, you take that whole leg almost and snatch it off, okay? I mean, you coming out of that thing swinging and you letting that narcissist know, no way am I going to take this pain from you. And this, in, I mean, the insults are just ongoing, just the onslaught of disrespect and insults while they're governing you through this pain. And baby, you come out swinging and you let them know, no more am I going to take this from you. Oh no, because it is over. You realize that they never had the remedy to your pain in the first place. That the remedy to your pain lie in your belief and your trust in the almighty creator. Yes, indeed. I said it and I mean it. Oh, but it's only for a short time. For those of us that have survived this thing. But this is what they do. But you have the ability to come through. To come through this thing shining brightly and better than ever. And doing things the way the almighty creator designed you to live your life peacefully and live your best blessed life. Oh yeah, because when you realize that the narcissist is not your pain reliever, that the almighty creator is your pain reliever, baby, that bird has got to go. And baby, you, and like I said, some of y'all didn't snatch the generator. Baby, we snatching power grids. Okay, we are snatching power grids. We are cutting that supply off. We are done. It's over. No more pain. No more disappointment. No more control. It's over. It's over. They could take their behinds right on over there with that back burner side, side show Sally and, and side show uh, Sam. No, we're done with that. We're done with that. But I have to let you know that these are the things that happens when you are engaged with these dys dysfunctional, demonic individuals. They use pain, to, they use this pain to govern and to control you and the pressure and how to apply it and the manipulation. We got to be more careful, got to be more careful. So I wanted to bring this to you all and I want you all to really think back and listen. When someone is trying to look around and find your hot buttons, instead of trying to figure out what they can do to make you happy, you got to ask yourself, what is all of this for? What are you doing this for? Why do you want to, why do you want to get all of these emotional reactions out of me? We have to be more astute, more aware of what's happening as we move forward. I love you all and I want you all to be blessed and highly favored. And until the next video, you all, if you haven't yet, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all at the top. Until the next video, I love you all. Ciao.